What are you doing, Flo? Vanish gold? Yeah. Okay, so what is vanish gold? It's when you clean the stains up. Do you like vanish gold? Yeah. And where have you found that out about vanish gold? Um, at the shop. Oh, do you, have you seen the advert on telly? Is that what you're trying to do, the advert? Yeah. Right. And the video is not sponsored by vanish gold. Flo's yeah. just obsessed with the stuff. Yeah? Yeah. So Flo wanted to do her little outfit of the day and contribute to the video, didn't you Flo? So Flo's got on a little hat from Asda and then top and leggings from H&M. And Byron's got some a Luna. Yeah, everybody wears the same and Flo's got and her top water sandals on. And we got some ones with flowers. Yes. And those are different colours. That's right. Oh, they fell over. Okay, so Flo wanted to show you something. Do you want to show us Flo? Yeah. Now what is this Flo? A uh, ring. And who, what ring is it? Brad and Janet ring? Yeah. Yeah, Flo loves the Rocky Horror Show. So, let's see your ring. And it's in a box. And what does Brad say? 
I did that. He says, here's the See, ring to prove that I'm no joker. Didn't he? <laughs> Let's see close. Oh, did you lick it? Oh, lovely. It's a beautiful ring. And you like to be Janet, and I have to pretend that I'm Brad, don't I? Yeah, because you, you have to. Yeah. So I don't want to be any boys. No. Thanks, Claire. Oh, Lou just wants to share a little something now. So, Lou, what are you going to show us, Lou? My bird. Your bird. And would you get that from McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. And as I said, Luna's wearing the same outfit as Flo, and she's got a little denim jacket from Marks and Spencer's on. And I'll just take you over here a sec. Daddy, look at this. Josh is just putting the washing on the line. There's little Vi. Again, I like to dress them all the same because I just think it's cute and if you like one thing, I think that's so quite a good day. I've got just some H&M sunglasses on, a tight tee from Marks and Spencers, and then this is one of the skirts that I showed you in the charity shop haul. It's really nice and fitted, sort of sucks the waist in a little bit. And then on the feet, I've got some leopard print espadrilles that I found on eBay. Um, Hello. Just it's a bit cold. I've got this H&M sort of military shirt jacket on, just as a light sort of coverall. And that's it. We're gonna. Bye, Daddy. All right. I miss you too, Princess. I miss you. Bye, bye. Don't want to Okay, so we've got scooters. Right, it's in the bus share, and we're gonna go. So we're almost where we need to be. Children have been really good scooting into town, stopped all the roads, couldn't ask for a better walk in really. So we're just going to go and find my mum and have a nice afternoon. Mama, I can see Mama. He's out on the bench. Mama. having a mega power trip because Violet's on a harness today and so she's treating her like a dog. Aren't you? No! Some window shopping. Love this shop. Pasta for little stuff up. Flo's got her little teapot with apple juice in. Let me just blow. And Luna's waiting on a baby Chino. And Violet's destroying all the toys over there with her. Hello, we're home and it's starting to absolutely piddle it down. So just in the nick of time, we've been. For a walk around town? Yes, Flo. Excuse me. I don't like the zombie thing. You don't like the zombie thing? Because it's scary. Okay, we don't need to watch it then, okay? Because it makes it Do you want to cuddle? Mummy, can we be back to Mama? Yes. Do you want to cuddle or are you okay? Okay? If you sit me down and cuddle. I'll be in a minute, moment. You go and sit and watch television with Luna for a moment. Okay? I don't like it. I know you don't like it. Okay. Don't worry. It's only a film. Okay? She got scared. I know. It used to scare mummy when mummy was little. Do you, you huggle? Do you want to huggle now? I'm so scared. Can you give me a huggle now? Because we're doing videos. Do you want to say hello? Should we tell the videos what it is you're talking about? Flo calls YouTube video videos. She loves YouTube. So, here's Flo. So, Mama bought round Hocus Pocus because she thought Flo might like it, but Flo doesn't like Billy Bones, do you Flo? No. 
And I completely understand that, because when I was little, I didn't like Billy Bones either. But he is a kind zombie, isn't he? But we don't need to watch it, so we don't need to worry, do we? When does it come out, babe? Huh? When does it come out, babe? I don't know what you mean. Say again. Why does it come out its grave? Why does he come out his grave? Because he comes to help. In the end, he becomes the children's friend and he saves them. He's a good zombie. He's just got a bit of a funny face, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But all of a he takes his head off. His head falls off, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like it. We're not going to worry about it, though, are we? Take it back to we'll take you back to Mama, okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can you come back here? Yes. Do you want me to put it away? Right. You go and watch television. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. Yes, Luna. Daddy's charging your camera. I know. Luna, would you take Florence to the living room? It's taking ages for my camera. Here's the other one. Number three is in bed. Where's your bow gone? Took it out. Okay. Go and look after your sister for me. I think I'm over it. Okay. You better not have. I didn't know. You didn't lose it. I've got it, I think. Right. Off you go, you two. Daddy's charging it. It's all going wrong. This is life. Some strawberries. You can have some strawberries. Deal is. Let mummy finish what she's doing and we can have strawberries. You've got a fat belly. Thank you, Luna. Mm -hmm. Do you know why I've got a fat belly? Because yeah. I had three little piglets that grew in my belly and made my belly fat. That's why. That's why they're stupid. That's your old house. <laughs> that was right, have we, have we done with um, picking our mummy now? A I know you do. Do you want a dummy? Going to get flower dummy and I'll be back here in one sec. Everybody always wants something, don't they? Normally when mummy's busy, that's not yours. <laughs> go on. Off you go. Off you go. Go on, go on, go on. Right. Okay. Right, I've got a limpet attached to me now. I'm going to try and see what I was going to say. Sorry about that. So, yes. She's back. I know it's this film. Let me take it from you. Let me take oh, yes. it. Yes, I like yeah. the witch bit. The witch bit's fine. Like the, I don't like the bit. Right, it's gone. Like gone. The... gone. 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 Okay? But you didn't bring it back to Mama. I'll bring it back to Mama. I'll put it in a secret place and I'll give it to Mama tomorrow, okay? I like licking my belly. Don't lick my belly. She's not licking my actual belly. She's licking my skirt. Right. <laughs> Mummy's going to have a talk, okay? Aww. Right, so, went uptown, Mum really fancied a Subway, and there is a charity shop next to Subway, which I didn't know was open on Subway, so we went in there for a wonder. Hey, do you want to go and get the strawberries out of the cupboard, out of the fridge, and then you can eat them? I want to eat them in a the bowl. Right, I'm just going to go for it, because I'm never going to get them in it otherwise. So, charity Why shop. Why are you doing a video? Because I am doing a video. You Will you buzz off, you <laughs> pest? <laughs> right. Mummy's going to do the video now, okay? <laughs> right. Right. So, I went to the charity shop. I'm just going to talk over them. them because now we're just going <laughs> to try and interfere and be annoying. I can see half of my head. You can. So, <laughs> went into the charity shop, found a few cool bits. She's now taking them upstairs to put the PJs on. Um, yeah, they just descended upon me and it became a bit chaotic for a minute. So, I'm going to show you what I bought. I did start telling you, but it just got too noisy, too manic. I want, I want, I need, I need. She said she did. She hit me. She's on my chair. As they do, the little cherubs. So, got a few things from the church shop. I said I liked coloured glass. Said I didn't need any more mustard coloured glass, but I saw this really cute little cut glass dish. It's got in, an indented sort of design again. Really pretty. Actually looks like a little flower or something on the back. Just a tiny little dish. I've got a, a pot with a lid this colour in my bedroom where I just kind of chuck lip balms and little odds and ends. So that can go next to it. It's just a little dish to chuck my rings in. Because if I just leave them on the fireplace, somebody always finds them and they disappear. So maybe... 
that will kind of, you know, hide them from the poor prying eyes a little bit. Next thing is bowls. Needed bowls, as I said the other day, got a few in my haul. Found some more that I sort of was a little bit drawn to. Again, they're brown. Brown speckly with a lovely floral, brown 70s floral print on. I really like the print on them. I love that, that floral design. They are Mark Bilton's of Staffordshire. And yeah, it's just handy for cereal or soup or something like that. And they were $1.99 for two. Now the charity shop we went in was slightly inflated with its pricing. You don't normally, in in town, I would say it's probably the most expensive one in our town. It was a Bernardo shop. I don't know if that was because it was right next to Asda or sort of a new retail park and for some reason that bumps the prices up, I don't know. But obviously it's all for charity so it doesn't really matter. But um, the next thing I bought, I was shocked at how much it actually was, but it was so pretty and in such impeccable condition that I just had to get it. It's a bit random. I don't normally buy nightwear and things like that from charity shops because I don't normally go looking for it and yeah. So that's probably why, isn't it? But it's something that reminded me of the sort of thing that a lady would buy sort of in the 70s or the 60s, sort of going to um, hospital to have a little baby. Or it's something that Matron might wear as she's pottering, you know, around on sort of uh, carry-on doctor or whatever it's called. It is a nighty, And it is absolutely new looking. It's a lot brighter than it's picking up on camera. It's a very prominent sort of... Uh, pastely lemon colour. It's got a really cool lace trim, really pretty little floral design stamped on it and it's like a stretchy crinkly fabric. What would you call this fabric? I'm not sure. I do normally, I'm normally quite good with details like that but I'm a little bit frazzled today. Um, it's polyester, you know the kind of vintage fabric. It's it's thin though, so I think it would be comfortable to wear. And I will actually wear this. I feel very sort of Margot in it. It goes all the way down to the floor, which I can't, I can't show you at the moment. But yeah, it's super duper long. Very pretty, very feminine, very vintage, very retro. So very me, basically. I love anything along those lines. And that was three ninety nine for the nighty, which... I, d I mean, I don't know how much things like that normally cost in charity shops because I said I don't normally look at them. But they were selling separately the matching kind of kimono-y floor length uh, nightgown, which is really cool. And again, it's got the little floral design on, same colour, absolutely immaculate. And the nightgown was $4.99. Um, but yeah, pretty random. Never sort of entered into the vintage nightwear arena, but actually I, I really like the last couple of bits that I found. Next thing, Flo's nicked and it's on the floor. <clears throat> this is something that my mum spotted and I picked up for her. It is a vintage bag. Now, when I first saw it, and she handed it to me, and she said, oh, I quite like that. I didn't really pay much attention to it but the lady at the desk told me it was something that her mum had just donated and she thinks it was about 30 or 40 years old it's a Susie Smith can you see that handbag really heavy really thick mock crock in a sort of chestnut brown colour you can detach the handle a big pocket in the middle it's got a little pocket there a little pocket at the back and it's got this kind of extendable bit here that you can unzip Gives you a bit more room, I suppose. It is brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but it looks brand new. And it's just really cool. So, yeah, so all over the shoulder. I think I might actually, I might actually pinch that one because I really like that. Really cool. So, yeah, that was 4 99 So, she was very happy with that. And the last thing I've got, well, Luna got this actually. Oh, no, there's another thing as well. Oh, it's in the living room there, I think. Uh, she found a little box of Lego Friends Lego for £2, £2.49, I'm not sure. It was completely unopened, but she's she's built it now. But it's a, um, 
it's a little kitchen so can you see it's got a little oven um and a little sink so kids love lego they've inherited that from josh because he's lego mad if you bear with me one sec i'll go and grab the other thing This is something Flo found. Flo is obsessed with cleaning. She loves watching Pippin and Auntie Mabel and there's an episode where Mabel's going about scrubbing her floors and doing all sorts of cleaning jobs. So she found this little old, who is it, made by Kasdan, um, little floor sweeper. It's like um, she's been pushing it around everywhere so I'm going to, need to wash it. But it's, uh, she said, because Big Mama, Big Mama's my grandma, and then Mama is my mum. So even though Big Mama is about one foot tall, little old Irish lady, we call her Big Mama because she's the oldest. And Big Mama's got a U bank at her house and she sweeps the floor with it. So yeah, Flo's got a little U bank now to sort of play with. Um, yeah, that's what we got today from the charity shop. Wasn't expecting to do a charity shop haul, didn't expect any charity shops to be open on a Sunday. So. Um, yeah, it's quite funny how Mum really, really fancied a subway and then there's a charity shop next to it and I found some more little gems and I really think that night set's absolutely adorable. It's so pretty and so cute. So really happy with that. So tonight, um, cleaning up as normal, normal sort of evening jobs. I'm very strict with my evening routine with my cleaning. I like to get certain things done and I like to have a nice clean house when I come down in the morning. I'm definitely a neat freak, everything has its place. We live in such a little house though, I mean, that's vital, otherwise we'd be living in chaos. So just gotta go around, put everything back where it needs to be, give these bits of uh, kitchen round, homeware, a bit of a, a wash. Um, yeah, so I do it really. I don't know if there's anything on TV or anything tonight. See what Josh wants to do, maybe you'll want to watch a film or something, so. I'll sign off for now and if anything particularly exciting happens, which is unlikely, I'll um, sign back in. Bye. So Josh has just been to KFC and he's just something quick to eat and then we're going to go and see what's on television. On Can I put you in? No. <laughs> Hello, so that's it for today. All done, has something to eat. Josh is just watching a programme about lost footage from the sort of Second World War and stuff. It looks pretty interesting. So. I might go and join him and watch that. I love sort of historical documentaries, period dramas, that sort of thing. Um, just gonna wipe the makeup off now. So I thought, prepare for the girls' um, store. I thought I'd show you the ones that I use. Cupboard's bulging, there's all kinds of things dropping out. This is what I use to wipe off my makeup. It's from Boots, it's part of their traditional skincare range and it's cold cream. It's pretty old school, but I love it. It's what um, my grandma used, what my mum uses, and what I use. It's got a very, I'd say it's kind of got a bit of a rose scent to it actually. It's basically a deep cleansing and softening cream. So all I do is get a big dollop on my finger. And you've got to be careful because if you open your eye, it does sting. But I love this stuff, it melts makeup off brilliantly. So close your eye, sort of dollop it on, rub it in. Got to my face still. That's my Phantom of the Opera. And then just sort of rub it off with a pad. And it gets it all off. It's brilliant stuff. I don't think. People really use cold cream an awful lot now and I really hope that Boots never discontinue this stuff because I just think it's absolutely amazing. Look, it's just melted it all off. It's not very expensive either. I think it's two two maybe two pound maybe it's definitely under three quid for a pot and it lasts for ages so Wrap it on, rub it off, let it melt away all the makeup. You're really gorgeous faces when you're wiping your makeup off. Well, I do anyway. It's all 
burning. Just to finish off the skin. It makes your skin feel really soft and clean afterwards. It's lovely. Now, wipe your eyebrows off. My eyes look really small and I always think oh, I've got my dad. I look like my dad anyway. Um, but yeah, I've got my dad's eyes. That is pretty much all gone. Pretty good. So, use my cold cream, the old lady cold cream. I normally use ooh, the simple range because I've got quite sensitive skin. But I went to Clinique recently and bought some uh, like pore perfecting stuff and I got a few freezers. So I've just been using those at the minute. I used to use the Clinique three step system. I'm going to turn tap on now. Um, I used to use it for a long time actually. It is pretty pricey and yeah, I sort of tried other things. I can found a range that I absolutely love. But the simple is pretty good. It is pretty good. So I love that all over my face. And then got the towel. Dry the old hand. Use the sort of foamy bit. Yeah, I've eaten it. It tastes good. Doesn't taste nice. Facial brushes picked it from Sally's one day and I just remember my friend. Um, I'll just sort of go over. I love a Clarisonic, but I'm not paying that. I'm really not. So I sort of go over the face. I always get really dry bits around my nose. I just don't know why. I always get a lot of redness around there. That's really good. Just all over the face. The last two days, dry enough. Quick rinse. What's my towel? sample that I've been using, it's actually quite good. It's Clarins Water Purifying One Step Cleanser and I might actually buy full size of this um, when it's been out. It's a very mild cleanser. You can use it to wipe makeup off. You can actually use it on your eyes too. It doesn't irritate or sting. So I like that because sometimes you don't get the last bits of um, mascara off. So with this you can actually rub it over your eyes and yeah, all my other toners so I do, even though it's a sort of cleanser you can use it as a toner and I do because I like to tone yeah, you can rub it over your eyes so that's that and then I like to use an eye cream and I ran out and it's sort of, I, I sort of Flip between different eye creams. I have not found a great one. I don't even know really whether they are really worth it. But this one I got a TK Maxx one day. It's Nip and Fab. I've heard things about Nip and Fab. It was there on the uh, shelf. I thought I'll try it. It's the Bee Sting Fix Eye Cream. I expected something remarkable from this, but it's not, it's just like any other eye cream I've tried really. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd dot that on before moisturising, the main fits, and then, again, simple, I've got 
nearly 30, so I feel like I need to start using something age resistant. I've got the age resistant age resistant night cream, and I also use the day cream, and they're sort of not too ordinary. Being having oily skin, I don't like to um, use a really thick sort of moisturiser. I thought this might be because it's obviously part of an anti-aging range, and I just assumed that that would be quite heavy. But it's running in light. I'd like to, to try a gel, I think. I um, tried the Clarins. It was a Clarins one, it was, I can't what it's called. And it's not lovely. So, maybe one day when I'm feeling flush or I've got a voucher or something, I might treat myself to that. So, let's put everything away now. That's it. I shall have a bath and a shower shortly, I think, because I have a shower this morning, but it's nice to get into bed clean, isn't it? And I like to have a nice clean bed, so I don't like getting into bed without having a shower or something. So, yep, all debunked, ready to go and chill out. I think I might um, either, like I said, go and join Josh, or I might go into the cellar, into Josh's man cave, and have a go at editing this, and hopefully it'll be fairly soon. So thank you for joining me today. Um, it's been a really lovely weekend. Yesterday was brilliant. Did some face painting at um, Living Scum Scum Summer Fair. Um, the school raised just over three and a half thousand, three thousand seven hundred something. So they did really well, and I really enjoyed doing the face painting. So I'll definitely be volunteering for that in the future. So back to normality tomorrow. Back to school, nursery runs. I've got literally my washing pile is like Mount Everest. So I need to get all the clean clothes put away. And I don't think I'm going to go anywhere tomorrow. I feel like I want a home day, pottering around, cleaning, getting some jobs sorted. Um, do a proper dinner tomorrow night. I think we're going to make a proper sort of old Irish stew um, in the slow cooker. And that's it really. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.